All right, here's a Frisco Badminton site. We're adding on to it. That's All Star Drive right there with that white and that green bands going through. That's Frisco Road up there, and then the uh, the light poles you see. That's the uh, outdoor fields for the uh, uh, Frisco Soccer Stadium. That's the uh, Dallas, uh, whatever the soccer team is, drawing a blank right now. Anyway, so there's Frisco Badminton we, we built. There's Frisco Flyers. Here's Carrington Insurance Company uh, Regional Office. And here's this three acres that's still available right here. This three acres was part of a bigger chunk. So these three buildings took up a, a big chunk of it. And this is what's left over right here, which is actually the hard corner of, that is John Elliott Drive there. And that's All Star on this side over here. Uh, All Storage is there, everything's being developed. That right there across the street, that's Dude Perfect. And then there's a cabinet shop, there's a white cap on the other end, there's an indoor go kart track, there's, oh gosh, what the heck is over there? All kinds of stuff is over there on that side. So this is all flex space. Anytime you build anything here, it gets absorbed immediately. So this is a prime development piece for a handful of. Uh, concepts you could either do a flex space you could actually do a two or three story office building like they did and do executive space up on the top floor and you can lease the the rest of it that's going to be take a little bit more uh financial bandwidth office condos would be the easiest uh the least expensive least cash out of pocket and then also the uh a single story flex space like you're seeing right there across the street and over there where you've got 24 foot clear height and uh you know, you can only get about 40,000 square feet on this space if you do that. You can get about 36, 38,000 square feet of office condo. And then of course, if you did a two-story or a three-story office building, you could probably squeeze out 65, 70,000 square feet. Now you gotta make sure your parking ratios are in line. Uh, but your footprint would be much smaller, so it gives you more parking. And then of course, the city of Frisco, we've gotta still contend with our 10% contiguous or continuous uh, green space so um, so we gotta so we could lay it out the building over here and then this here where this extra spoils are where it's burned up right now uh, this essentially could be our green space on the back side put a little pavilion something out here if you did an office building like this and that's what they did on the other side of that office building on the other side there's a little grassy area with a little pavilion an outdoor area uh, for employees to go out there and eat on picnic benches and stuff like that. So, 